Hello, well, it's me back again, Adele from Brecon Beacons Foraging, and we're now looking at plants that you're liable to find during the course of the summer. And right now I'm standing beside one of my favourite ever wild plants, uh, and also it's a fantastic ingredient. I was actually thinking about writing a book just about elderflower. I don't know if I'll do that yet, but we'll see. So here she is, look at this. Lovely, lovely, lovely creature. Smells amazing. If you want to pick elderflower, pick it in the heat of the day, not when it's rained and not first thing in the morning. And if it smells of cat pee, then you'll make yourself a cordial that also smells of cat pee. Um, and that would be because you've been using wet blossoms. Doesn't work. Um, the thing I wanted to talk about with this tree is the mythology that we have with it. Um, it's one of our most sacred trees um, in Northern Europe. People believe um, that the elder was ruled by a, a, a goddess type figure, the elder mother. And I always think of her as being a little bit like a mother-in-law. I really nice, really kind, really benevolent, but you wouldn't want to mix her up. You know, you wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of her. So the name of this tree Elder means, it sounds like it's meaning old, but actually uh, it means fire because this tree has been associated with fire for many, 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 many years. What's the reason for that? Well, if I were to take a hollow tube of elder, say a bit like this one here, and then cut it between the nodes and then poke the pith out, I've got a nice hollow tube and the pith from an elder tree will hold a spark for quite some time. So it would mean that in the days of when, when pe people had horses, they would get on the horse, have a little box of um, elder um, smouldering away and they'd be able to make a fire um, whenever, you know, whenever they wanted one. So that's probably enough for now about elder because as I say, it could go on and on and on and on and on. We will be looking at this again once the berries start to appear and the berries will appear as the blossoms fade. Here you'll see an example of, here we are, you can see this. So you can see here the blossoms are going and all these tiny little bibbly bits are gonna become berries. Very exciting. Just a top tip. When you're picking elderflower, it's really important to have respect for the wildlife that in, inhabit these um, plants. Um, and people get really a bit fretty about, oh, there's all these tiny little flies. All you need to do, there are, there are, they are full of tiny little flies. If you lay your petals out like this in a hot sunny place, what will happen is that the little flies, these little guys here, will just go away. If you can get them under a shady place, what they want is they want to be in the sun, so they just disappear. So I just thought I'd leave you with that little top tip there.